Welcome to the Heater Tips channel, everybody. Today we're going to have a short discussion on heating a room with candles and whether this actually makes sense. I'm trying to keep everything short so we don't waste any time. Okay, to heat a room, you need about 1,500 watts of power. 1,500 watts is enough to keep your room at comfortable temperature in, in winter time. So that's the hardest setting for a heater. An average candle brings 80 watts of power and that's just a single candle. So to heat an entire room and get the equivalent of a regular space heater out of it or, or a central heating system, you would need 1500 watts of power in candles. And that's about 18 candles. So you would need 18 candles to heat your average room. Now, when you go online and look for how to heat your room with candles, then you see all kind of interesting stuff. And the one that was popping out the most for me was the flower pot candle heater trend. And I'll show you an image right here. You place in a candle below a flower pot that's that's upside down and then you light that candle and apparently it, it produces enough heat to, ke to keep a room warm. But actually that's false physics. It's not, <laughs> it's not working like this. Um, flower pot heaters are a hoax. They are misleading information. Um, the actual point of flower pot heaters is not to create higher temperatures than the candle alone because that's that would be physically impossible this would mean that the flower pot would extract more heat from the candle than the candle actually would deliver it's not possible physically um, the point of the flower pot heater is to actually distribute the heat more evenly so when you have a candle and the candle has a flame, then the heat will rise straight to the ceiling of your room. With a flower pot ups, placed upside down on top of the candle, the flower pot will absorb a lot of the heat and radiate it outward into your room. So the heat energy produced will be the same, but the heat will feel differently. So. Flower pot heaters do not really produce more heat, but it feels as if more heat is produced. But that's not actually the case, just the heat distribution has changed. But let's say using a flower pot heater you achieve twice the amount of comfort that you would otherwise achieve using a single candle, then you would still need nine flower pot heaters for an average room, which is still not feasible. So does heating a room with candles makes sense. Depends on your situation, of course. Um, if you don't have access to electricity or gas or any other source of heat, then of course it makes sense to heat your room with candles. Also, if you have a low budget and you have some candles left over, yeah, you can try it, but please make sure you stay safe. They are a fire hazard. Personally, I would advise you to if you don't have access to, to a central heating system that runs on oil or gas, to just get an electric space heater. These are much safer, even though in the news they are reported as fire hazards as well, but that's not really the case. Space heaters have been designed for decades to, to run safely, um, and especially com when compared to, to using candles as a heat source, they are a ton better. For example, I have this infrared space heater and it has a few safety features which are really helpful. For example, on the bottom of it, there's this button and when it's pressed, the space heater can run because it's pressed when it stands on the ground. And when it's released, the space heater assumes that it tipped over and it automatically turns off. So that's a tip over protection. Also, there's there's a grid in front of it, which protects it from igniting stuff. 
and you can set the temperature levels um, which is practical which you can't do with with candles also you can easily turn it on and off any times so yeah I would suggest you to use a space heater if you don't have access to a regular heating system. And if you're interested, I have linked a very good infrared space heater in the description down below. It's not this one because I'm in Germany right now and the Germans have different products than the Americans. But I'll link you the best one I can find. There are actually much better products in the US I found. So <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe and if you have any questions then just put them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.